drilling hardness is estimated and categorized in accordance to the rock mass class. Before each drill and blast event it is critical to determine the effect of blasting on the tunnel surface. Until now overbreaks and underbreaks estimation is done based on experience. Overbreaks and underbreaks estimation is until now depended on personnel or engineer's experience. Each excavation result is visualized from the point cloud measurements. Comparison of theoretical and actual is done. This technology transforms the georeferenced point cloud into projection of the actual excavation. With this projection method can be determined the overbreaks and underbreaks mapping analysis caused by the blasting. Overbreaks and underbreaks mapping analysis provides a better understanding of actual surface situation and thus a precise estimation of omissions rather to multiply cross sections. This technology determines the effect of blasting per each drilling hardness. Thus the overbreak and underbreak damage is calculated separately for each drilling hole, rock classification, and hardness. Each drilling position is calculated and transformed into projection and is analyzed in relation to the position of overbreaks and underbreaks mapping. Different colors represent the different drilling hardness. This technology interpolates point cloud of each drill and blast excavation. This kind of interpolation has direct effect on underbreak and underbreak mapping, as well as the primary scanning area. Interpolation calculates and defines the damage per drilling hole in gridded squares. Each square describes the average damage caused by the blasting of each drilling hole. The average damage is calculated from the points included to each square on the grid. The resolution of the grid can be selected. Squares average is done for the primary scan as well as the mapping. Each square is positioned in relation to the direction of each drilling. In the particular example the interpolation resolution is calculated so as for each drilling to be represented of five squares. Each of the five squares per drilling has the same affecting area but different elevation that describes the average overbreak and underbreak damage on the specific direction of excavation. In the particular example the five different colors represents the overbreak damage of each area in the total length of the specific drilling. Furthermore as this example is represented the interpolation effect in relation to the actual scanning. Each square is described by a single point coming from the point cloud average. The same methodology described until now is used for all drill and blast excavations. On the next step it will be define the hardness of a future excavation. The interpolated excavations of the past are recalled from database and are ready to be used. Each drilling hardness that belongs to the same position with the future excavation is separated from the database coming from the past excavations. Now we are going to recall the squares of a specific drilling position of past excavations that has also the same hardness with our future excavation. It will also be shown how damaged squares of the past excavations were calculated. It is obvious that each drilling is in the middle of the squares that is represented. This describes the effect of damage caused from each drilling and each square region that is constituted. For each square of the specific drillings of the past excavations that also matches with the position and hardness of the future excavation, is calculated the average overbreaks and underbreaks damage. This calculation comes from the point cloud included in each determined square region. For the particular example, from each past excavation is calculated the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth square that belongs to the specific position and hardness with the future excavation. 
Since this determination is automatically done, the calculation procedure acts immediately. By recalling the average damage of each square of the past excavations, then the forecasting of overbreaks and underbreaks is mapped to the position of future excavation. Excavation forecasting defines a logical model of a future excavation based on the parameters of drilling holes position and hardness defined. Each predicted square has a single point of overbreak and underbreak damage that comes from the average of past excavations. Now it will be presented the example of a forecasting surface calculation, defined by the drilling position and hardness of the past excavations. The average of past squares will be calculated to the specific position where same hardness with them has been defined on the future excavation when drilling is done. Since forecasting is done it is calculated the overbreak and underbreak analysis, in relation to the overbreak limit as well as the offset of first layer of drilling holes. The scope of this calculation is to define the suitable loads per drilling in order to avoid overbreak and underbreak failures. Then a re-estimation of forecasted surface is done, showing the most logical effect that could be realized on the surface when load quantities are adjusted in accordance to the system's recommendation. Deviations coming from the comparison between actual and forecasted surface, added in database for a future use, so as the precision of loads and surface forecasting, periodically increase.